What's going on, everybody? It's Bryce here with Ghost Picks, uh, your nation's number one trend in sports handicappers. We have five expert handicappers over at GhostPicksATS.com website. Jimmy, Derek, Benny, Jack, and myself. Uh, yesterday, quick recap. One play on the day. Uh, we said we were going to rebound, and it looked like we were. It looked all but certain we were going to cash our ticket. Our one play in the fourth quarter and happened in the Miami Heat Orlando Magic game. We had the over 207.5. They needed 45 points in the fourth quarter combined for us to cash that over. And the Miami Heat did something that I have never seen a basketball to team do in my life. They had four points in 11 minutes and 45 seconds in the fourth quarter. They finished the quarter with six points. It was so bad that I had to look it up after the game. Uh, the fewest total amount of points in a quarter in NBA history. Um, turns out it's two. Uh, you know, it's, it wasn't Miami last night. Turns out the fewest amount of points in a quarter is two. Uh, it happened twice with the Mavericks and the Warriors uh, some 20 years ago. Either way, uh, the Miami Heat did not do us any favors last night. If they could have scored 16 points in that fourth quarter, I think it would have went over. But uh, it just didn't happen. It is what it is. You can't cap for something like that. You have no idea that a team's going to put up six points in a quarter. That's that's unheard of. Uh, so we take our losses like a man, move on. Uh, that's back-to-back top-tier losing days in the NBA. Uh, we'll correct it today and uh, bounce back as we normally do in the NBA and in general. Uh, free play winner for you yesterday, 8-3 and three, uh, free play run here on this YouTube channel. That's why you guys come here every single day. 8-3 uh, and three run. That's 8-3 and three over the last 11 plays. I think that's like 30, 73%. And uh, we'll have another free play winner, winner for you here in just a second. The free play yesterday was Ohio and Nevada under. Uh, and under cash for basically the reasons that I said in the video. Both teams not good defensively. Both teams are good offensively. Uh, Nevada was missing a lot of defenders on defense. They were missing four starters on defense. Everybody knew all this information. Everybody was panning the over. And uh, I said, you know, not so fast. Um, both these two teams, while not great on defense, they do play a little bit better than, uh, than expected on third down. And that happened yesterday in the red zone primarily. Uh, they combined for six total field goals uh, and then two red zone turnovers, uh, one each. And um, that cashed the under. So it was a nice winner for us there, 8-3 and three, uh, run, as I said before. The official free play for you today. I know it's late in the day, uh, but we like pushing out NBA plays for you guys. And uh, a lot of this stuff, we have to wait for these players to uh, who's going to sit, who's not sitting, and uh, kind of get an idea of uh, about how many minutes each guy is going to be playing tonight. We're going to give you uh, guys a... Uh, a fairly sharp play. It's on our card tonight. It's a small, small premium play on our card. But for those of you that have been waiting all day for this free play video, we're going to give you a winner. It's coming straight off our card. Uh, we're going to take the Chicago Bulls money line over the Boston Celtics tonight. Uh, I think the I think the line's minus one and a half, so the the juice probably around one seventeen, maybe one twenty. We'll take that money line minus one twenty. I'll even I'll, I'll say minus one twenty just to be safe uh, over the Boston Celtics. Look. Uh, Brown for the Celtics, he was sick, and uh, he's better now, but he passed it on to Kimba. Kimba's now sick, and uh, Brown last night, while he did play, he played a lot of minutes. He had 35 minutes. Kimba was out. He played 35 minutes. The guy's still probably getting over his illness, and uh, he's going to a back-to-back -to -back tonight. How much will he play tonight? We're not sure. Kimba's out tonight. Uh, Gordon Hayward and Jason Tatum combined, uh, both played 70, uh, sorry, 37 minutes apiece last night, and uh, Boston is, uh, they finished the game last night. Hopped on, a, hopped on a plane and flew to Chicago. The Boston Celtics are 1-3-1 one, and one against the spread uh, in this exact situation this season, and that is coming off a win at home and playing a team on the road with a losing record. They don't get up to play teams on the road with losing records. They're 3-2 and two straight up in this situation. I know this game is pretty much a pick em. Uh However, that's a little bit skewed. Their only three wins this year was against, in this situation, was against Cleveland, uh, the Warriors, and, uh, and I believe the Kings, they're not good in this situation at all. They're not going to get up to play. I don't think they're going to get up to play. I think a lot of their guys are going to be resting a little bit, maybe not even uh, give it their all tonight. However, on the flip side, the Bulls, they're off rest, and they're hungry, and they're young. I think they're going to win this basketball game, and Vegas does. I think Vegas might be telling us something with such a low line, and it uh, looks like the line is moving um, against Boston's favor. So, not always a good sign. So we're going to take uh, the Chicago Bulls on the money line over the Boston Celtics. It's a small premium play off our card. Like I said, just a little gift from us to you guys because I know you guys have been waiting for the video all, all day long. 
And uh, we'll uh, have you another free play winner for you on this channel tomorrow. Looking to go 9-3 and three on our free play run in the last 12. Move it up to 75% for you guys. As always, I appreciate, I appreciate everybody that stops by. Check out the Twitter page, at Ghost Picks Bryce. As always, good luck, God bless, and grind on.